who came to this country, all of the women and girls were wearing one of these. Now, oddly enough, this has the same name as grandmother in Russia. This is called a babushka. Grandmother is pronounced differently, though. It's the same word, but it's pronounced babushka. This is a babushka. I used to watch my grandmother put one of these on. Every morning, I'd stand at her elbow. She'd say, are you watching? Are you watching? I said, I'm, I'm watching. She'd put it in a triangle, throw it over her head, pull it very tight against her forehead, and then start twisting the edges. She'd say, I'm twisting. Are you watching? I was watching. She'd pull it forward, tied it. But not down here on her neck, where scarves are to be tied. It was clear up on her mouth. We were farm folk. She grabbed and worked in the sun, pulled this part out to shield her eyes. When she came in, it came off of her chin. She tucked it in, but she wore one of these. Every day, every day that I remember her, she was wearing one of these. When my mother's family arrived in this country, all the girls were wearing one of these. The youngest member of the family was a little girl named Anna. Our family <coughs> man actually was lost on Ellis Island. The theory is the grandfather was from the Republic of Georgia, so the name became Gaw, G-A-W, might have started as Guagash Vidi and shortened, or she was wearing a tag that said Yorge and wife, G-A-W. Sometimes people thought they were being named by the American government. 